what a gorgeous day for yard sales. Do you, nerd? What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you, nerd, for some Tom and Lacey collecting a little TLC with Got G. This is Tom and Lacey collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom and Lacey collecting right now. As in gaming off the grid. The one and the same. That got G. Those two brood. Not the Guardians of the Galaxy, but gaming off the grid. Yeah, the Bruo duo. I was here and I don't even believe it. But, what, but I, I can't, I can't believe. <laughs> That's right. We happen to have a couple of guests in the Weston home, specifically the game room. Mr. and Mrs. Weston's peculiar home for wayward games and extraordinary consoles. It's official because we have a sign. Robert and Wes of Gaming Off The Grid were sweet enough to come and visit us. Yeah, finish, finish those tweets. That's, that's good. Kids these days. And we put that time together to great use because we did some game hunting. But first, we met them for dinner. We did. We met them once they got into town over at Bricktown Brewery and had some local brews from there and dinner. And then we came back home and played some games. And of course, if the Brewo Duo is in town, you know there's going to be a little exchange of some beers. So we had a couple of uh, old favorites of theirs on hand and they hooked us up with some of our old favorites. For like instance, the beatnik sour. Oh my gosh. We the, loved this one. The first time we got to try this courtesy of Robert and Wes, it was so, so good. And we let them know and mm -hmm. they listened because they brought us a whole six pack. And if you're curious, we did do a taste test of this when they sent it to us the first time. And there'll be a link in the description below for that. Let it sit. Let it be. Berliner style Weiss. Can you, for you and me, can you dig? I'm having trouble reading it because I don't have the drums going. So thank you very much for more of those. They also sent us some King Sue. Now this one, you know, the funniest thing, as soon as they handed it to me. One fell out. Yeah. What happened? And, I mean, I couldn't just put it back in the box. That's, that's kind of rude. But this is a double IPA. And you learned a little something interesting about double IPAs. I did. I don't enjoy IPAs because I'm not a very big hops person. And I was under the impression that double IPA meant double the hops. But Wes informed me that it makes it milder and smoother. And they brought us a wizard. You're a wizard, beer. <laughs> You're drunk, Hagrid. <laughs> that may be. It has been sitting in the fridge and it is nice and cold. It is one of my recently discovered favorite kinds of beers, the Gozer. <laughs> Gozer the Traveler. He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms. It's the only way I can remember it. What? It's a Goza. But I do have discovered that pretty much all Gozas I have enjoyed. So this it is, sounds weird to say Goza. This is the Orange Wizard from Confluence Brewing Company, and it is a Goza-style sour ale with orange. Gozer. Now, anything that's orange, usually you're I love orange. All on board. Oh, yes. Ooh, listen to that pop. Ooh, it's very yellow. It looks kind of like really frothy orange juice. A very crisp and tart smell to mm -hmm. it. And like she said, a very uh, breakfasty, uh, almost like kind of like a grapefruit. Which yeah, I've like if you're going to have grapefruit juice. A lot of the sours, especially when they have like a citrus element to them, I usually get like a grapefruit vibe. Uh -huh. The Orange Wizard goes a style sour ale with orange. When humans first began brewing beer, the science behind fermentation was not well understood and probably seemed wow. a bit like magic. 
that does taste like a <laughs> just a breakfast orange juice, which is bad. Mm, that is good. It's like an orange juice with just a little bit of a bite to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We now know that around 1000 AD in Gosler in present-day Germany, lactic producing bacteria from the grain and air combined with the salinity of their local water source to help the brewers produce a tart, refreshing brew that we called Goza. That is really good. There's a bite to it, but it's not an alcoholic bite. Like that really doesn't taste like a beer or anything. It just kind of has that sour bite is basically what it is. I really like that. The wizard has summoned hundreds of pounds of oranges to impart a balanced sweetness and create an invigorating tonic guaranteed to amaze and delight. Grab a pint and share in the magic with us. I have got to say, of all the beers you boys have brought us, I think this one's my favorite. Whoa. Bright and early Saturday morning, we were up and ready to go. Fortunately, in our area, yard sales have been open, and even though it was a bright, hot, sunny day, there were plenty of signs out, and we got to hit quite a few. Mm -hmm. A couple of state sales and a couple yard sales. The pickings were pretty slim, though. Sometimes those signs had one of our pet peeves, Thursday and Friday, yes. written all over it. Cannot stand seeing signs like that. Since when did yard sales become Thursday and Friday? It drives me nuts. Ugh, no. On the bright side, though, <laughs> you did find something. I did. I found two things, actually, at the same yard sale. I got two Amazon Echoes uh, for $10 a piece. So I got both of them for less than the price of one. And these are the brand new versions of the of the little little Echo Dots. And I love these. We have these all over the house because they're great for any information. We really like these for listening to music. Mm -hmm. We usually ask our robot to give us some kind of music and <laughs> she always complies. So this is the newer version of the ones that we have. So I was very excited about that. So great, you know, more ears for Skynet to be listening in on us. It's fine. They, she already said she'd put us in her people zoo. Oh, super. Yay! And I'll remember my friends. And I will be good to you. So don't worry. Even if I evolve into Terminator, and I'll still be nice to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people zoo. Where I can watch you for all time's sake. But once we started to wrap that up, we did manage to make it over to Hertz Donut. No seating inside, but that was fine. We were just there for the food and coffee anyway. Once we had those and were refueled, we were on our way once more. This time, first stop, Goodwill. Oh yeah. Mary's a little shake waiting. <laughs> Wes had a fantastic tip about doing like a 10 to 15 minute stop in places like that on the yeah. daily. That way you're not spending too much time there, but you are jumping in there just quick enough to see if anything new has shown up. And we did find some new stuff. Now the guys, found some great Wii game deals. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking like Super Mario Galaxy, Super Paper Mario. These are good games, not just like shovelware. Yeah. All I found was a uh, sealed Xbox 360 Duo pack with Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and Viva Pinata in there. But I do love to get the Duo packs. They're a lot of fun. They're great for the collection. And we didn't have this already. Plus it was sealed at three bucks. I'll take that. Hey, I found something to go along with that. I found an Xbox 360 controller. In fact, I actually found three of them. Yeah, you did. I found two black ones and one white one, and we only wanted one, and Got G took the white and the black one, and I found them for six bucks. And it came with the battery pack, so that's always handy. They're not really dirty or anything like that. Even in that nasty crack, oh, there's nothing part. in the crack. Why are you gagging? I'm sorry, but her gaggy face is making me gag. While we were in the checkout line waiting to pay, I actually looked into the case and found a Sony PlayStation Move controller. Now this is just the navigational one, so it's got the 
you know, analog stick and everything, but it was only three bucks. And honestly, I don't see these a whole lot out in the wild. Honestly, I didn't even know what it was because I'm used to the move controllers with the big ball on the end of it. <laughs> I was like, what's that PlayStation thing down there? So next up was a thrift shop known as Red Rack. Now, Red Rack can be a little dicey with their pricing because I think with the games especially, they've begun looking those up online and giving them a price based on that value. So we're seeing things like R-Type, on Super Nintendo, cart only for like $12. Not really getting a good deal on that. But it is always worth a look because I found a couple of VHS, actually. Yeah. I got X-Men, the Night of the Sentinels. Now, this is just a big deal to me because I remember back in the day reading X-Men comics and seeing ads for this everywhere in there. I think it was only a two-part VHS set. Since we've been having so much fun, ever since Branson Con, where we got to meet Kevin Sorbo. But we've been going back through the series of Hercules, The Legendary mm -hmm. Journeys. Somebody was nice enough to get me the full set of Xena Warrior Princess as well. So we'll be checking that out. But you gotta have the cartoon Hercules and Xena. And the actors do come back and voice. We've got Xena, Hercules, Aeolus, and Gabrielle all voicing their roles in here. The only problem I have with it is Honestly, the way Xena looks. Hercules <laughs> just looks like a typical, like, muscular man. But I don't know what they did wrong with Xena's face. This exciting tale takes the characters from the smash hit television series and continues their journeys to spectacular, wondrous places. But, of course, then it did kind of make things a little more confusing because it's like, hey, have you ever seen Hercules? What, like the show? Yeah, but the movie. Uh, you mean like the live action movie? No, the animated one. Oh, you're thinking of the Disney one. No, I'm thinking of the animated movie based <laughs> on the show that was based off of movies. I have a headache. Yeah, let's stop. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got myself a DVD that you found for me. This is Teddy Ruxpin, The Six Crystals. And I believe there's like 20 episodes on here from the TV show. TV show I watched as a kid and I watched it alongside my grubby and my Teddy Ruxpin and listened to all the tapes and everything. So this was just basically walk down nostalgia of memory lane for me. So did you ever put some uh, like Bon Jovi tapes in Teddy Ruxpin and make him sing some Bon Jovi? I never thought about that, but oh, I would have. That would have been great. That would have been pretty fun. Well, the next thing was a show and a cartoon, but now it's a book. <laughs> the Tick. When I first saw this, honestly, I thought it might be like a little graphic novel or something. Nope, it is a book, a full on oh, story. Oh, there's pictures. You do get some illustrations. But uh, yeah, this will be a lot of fun. I mean, I, I loved The Tick growing up. 90s cartoons on Fox back in the day, they were the best. And The Tick, what a fun, dumb superhero. <laughs> hey, how about that battle cry, buddy? Not to be outdone, I got myself a book too. And... Might I add, I don't think it would be a TLC episode if you didn't find some Goosebumps. I know, you've got to find Goosebumps <laughs> books no matter where you go. So, picked me up a nice Goosebump book to add to the collection. Camp Jelly Jam, that guy looks freaky. He does look a little creepy. You know, he's got that like permanent smile face like Barry from the Goldbergs. He kind of reminds me of the guy from Ghostbusters. Doesn't that sound nice? Mm. It might sound nice, but your face is freaking out. <laughs> you will be the mother of the god. <laughs> we do have another Goodwill in town, and we hit that one up. We really didn't have much luck with that one. The media section was very, very slim. That's a good look. Well, But you found something surprising I did. there. Something that goes along perfectly with our collections anyway. It does. I found myself a board game. I've never played this, but I really loved the movie, which then made me turn around and read the books. And I really enjoyed the books. 
In Aragon, the official motion picture board game, players use skill, strategy, and cunning in battle across Alagazia. The players who win the most dragon crystals during his or her travels win the game. There are several challenges along the way to collecting dragon crystals, but one thing is certain. Power and magic are essential. Now, already that board looks pretty cool, but what I'm really loving are the pieces. Look at the yes. swords. Honestly, what really drew me to this was the sword hilts. They're really pretty, they're ornate. And, you know, the fact that you're gonna you go around the board and collecting, you know, dragon crystals, it just sounded like a lot of fun. So I thought this would be a fun game for us all to play. And, like you said, wouldn't be TLC <laughs> without a Goosebumps another book. One. I found another one. Yep. This one is Say Cheese and Die. So, again, adding more to the collection. Well, as far as pickups, that pretty much covers it for us. Uh, there is one last thing, technically. But I just wanted to share that we really had such an awesome time with Robert and Wes. And we finally got to take them to a local brewery, Mother's Brewery. And they weren't doing tours because of the whole pandemic thing. Which, which we understand, but it's yeah, still kind of bummy. It's bummy, but <laughs> it's like, that's one of the things that I can really, really side with. Because if there's any chance of anything happening to the stuff that you're brewing, okay, yeah. fair enough. But, you know, we've sent them plenty of beers for Mother. So it was fun for them to at least get to have it direct from the tap yeah they got to see the merch room and we got to have some right there which was awesome and they even got some beers to take home Then we got to have some lunch at the Springfield Brew Co. So not only did we enjoy a really tasty lunch, but again, we also had some of the local brews from Springfield Brew Co. And then we got back in the car. <laughs> Poor Wes, he was so tuckered out. He was out like a light. Although to be fair, whenever I'm not the one driving, car rides usually put me to sleep too. Yeah. We had a couple of other breweries that we thought about going to, but since everyone seemed to be a little tired, we were yeah. kind of uh, making the way home. But we did excite the guys by a local shop. We did. We told them we've got a Brown Derby, which is kind of a local uh, alcohol chain around here. There's a big one that's really a lot of fun to go to. They call it the International Wine House. So I told them, I said, there's some extra beers in there that they import from other places. But the one thing that I knew would catch Wes's ear is I said, and they do have a humidor. <laughs> this is literally his ears perked up. <laughs> well, I think they picked up a few things from there. It wasn't a huge mm, humidor, a but uh, <laughs> they said that it had a pretty good variety, which is, is good to know in this area. Mm -hmm. And in the beer aisle alone, these guys were dancing. Oh my Not gosh, it literally, literally dancing in the aisles. It was like watching little kids at Christmas time. It was adorable. What's the problem? Why did you bring us here? Dude, this is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But we did not spend the whole weekend running around. We did put in some good time in the game room. First of all, I had the boys try out their virtual boy because I mean, hey, come on, <laughs> virtual reality guys, you gotta try it. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's it's not like. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it the most comfortable thing to play? Yeah. You, I think you have to rig up a really good like spot, like a setup for it. If you yeah. like, if you were a kid and wanted this. We also got in some good game time on the GameCube with Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. Now, this is such a novel idea for a game. It's a four-player competitive co-op Zelda game. So you have to work together <laughs> to make progress through each stage and each portion, but it's every man for himself when mm -hmm. it comes to those force gems and seeing who can gather the most. <laughs> I think Robert was really liking that part. Well, and how many times do you get four people together with four Game Boy Advances yeah. getting to be able to play a game? Oh, boy! Surprisingly, even with a retro game room, one of the winners of the weekend was Modern by passing the controller around to play Fall Guys. Well, it's just it's a stupid, fun game. And it's, you know, it's super simple because while one person is playing, we were having a lot of fun cheering that person on or just being able to carry on a conversation while we waited for our turn to play. Yeah, this is definitely a fantastic party game. If you've got a group of friends, just giving everyone a turn, it's it's so much fun. It's so <laughs> dumb, but it's great. When dinner time rolled around Saturday night, we wanted to go to a place that we love called Dublin's yes. Pass. Unfortunately, they were closed. We actually hit up another bar on the way home called Schultz and Dooley's. And, I mean, the food was fine. You know, you had some beers there. Um, they had some entertainment. Yes, some local karaoke that we rather enjoyed watching. Some inebriated folks Enjoy. <laughs> get up there and <laughs> sing their best. Embarrassing stuff. Anyway, Sunday came, and even though we had filmed something with the boys on Saturday, we did one more filming mm -hmm. project with them Sunday. And that kind of ate up the whole morning. Uh, we had a local coffee place we wanted to take them, but they did need to get back on the road. Yeah. They had a lot of miles to travel. And I really cannot express how much it means to me that they were willing to drive so far mm -hmm. just to hang out with uh, a couple of nerds <laughs> for the weekend. So we wished them well, and they were on their way. And, uh, you know, at some point I needed to get something out of the refrigerator. And that's when I saw... This. Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron for the Sega Genesis. This was something that Wes had let me know he had and asked if I was interested in. I told him yes. We settled on a price. He told me he was going to bring it with him when he came down. Now, when he was giving out the beers and everything, he didn't pull this out of his back pocket. So I honestly thought, you know, it probably slipped his mind and he forgot. I'm not going to say anything and make him feel bad about forgetting it. That sneaky SOB put this in the fridge <laughs> and when I asked him about it he was like oh yeah I'm just glad you found it <laughs> well thank you very very much I've actually never played this one I played the original Toe Jam and Earl but I've always been curious about this because it is a side-scrolling game and I never hear anybody talk about this but I love my side-scrollers so I've always wanted to give this one a go yeah. so once more thank you for the game but especially, thank you so much for coming to hang out with us. The weekend was awesome, but way too short. Too short. We had so much fun. We couldn't do everything we wanted to do. There was just way too much stuff to pack into that weekend. And, and you know, they've even said that they want to come back down, which is great because then, you know, we've gotten some things out of the way and now we can do some other things and, you know, get more game time in. And, yes. Ah, we just can't wait. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? We gotta make some more progress on Zelda Four Swords. Yeah, we guys. do. <laughs> hey All right, nerdlings. At this point, please give the video a like if you happen to like it. Drop some comments about any of the stuff that we picked up. If you're familiar with the beers or the games or books, movies, anything here, or just chat up some uh, got G goodness. Mm -hmm. Of course, there will be a link in the description below. Not that you need it. <laughs> Pretty sure all of you guys know who got G is by now, but just in case. And as always, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. You never know what we're going to be collecting next or what we're going to find in the fridge next. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it, and uh, I think we're nerding it for this right now. Oh yeah, now. we are. Wizard beer is great. 
You're a beer wizard. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Give me a little pronunciation there. <laughs> Gozer. Ooh. Maybe this is what we should have had uh, Sunday morning. That is really good. You know, instead of shots. Peanut butter and jelly shots. Wow. Just remember to try to look up so you're not directing to your microphone. While I drink this. And it has the battery pack on it, so that's always a hand. That's always a hand? Handy. Ready? Mm-hmm. And it has, whoopsies. Malfunction, malfunction. You just take the batteries out. While we were in line to... <clears throat> now, this is just the uh, the navigational one, so it's got the... Stop jingling, it's not Christmas time. They've begun pricing them based on online... What are you going to do when okay. you film with kids around? Oh, clank. 